Boom. Got it. You got it. You got it. Get it up, 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 yes. up. Yes! Come on. Nothing but a peanut. Yes. Yeah, boy. Yes! <laughs> So happy about that. That is the perfect start to 2014. I'm absolutely stoked with that. That's another goal I can tick off the list. Hey guys, happy new year. It's January of 2014. Welcome to month nine. So this year I plan to achieve even greater goals than I did last year and I'm hoping to up the intensity of all my workouts in general. So it's going to be very exciting and we've got a whole bunch of new exercises lined up as well. So today we're training again at Pioneer Park. This was the original place where I set those goals early last year. So for Skin the Cats, I'm just going to focus on keeping it slow and controlled and really focus on nice tight form. So I've bumped up flag negatives to earlier in the program because in previous months it's been the last exercise and I've been quite fatigued by that point already. So hopefully putting it a bit earlier in the program will allow me to make some better progress with this exercise. So as you can see, I'm sort of getting somewhere. I'm getting a bit of an idea about the balance point. So this month for front levers, I'm gonna work on having nice and slow controlled negatives. And I'm gonna try and pause it at the front lever point and hold it for as long as I can. In the first set, I might just be able to hold it. But for the second and third sets, I'm probably gonna be fatiguing quite a lot. So it'll be more focused on the negatives. Yeah. Up. Is once I've passed that front lever position and failed, so to speak, I want to make sure I still control the negative down to the dead hang. Lachlan's pointed out that once I've passed this position, sometimes I just drop off. So I really want to focus on having that control the whole way down. So this month for one arm chins, I'm going to go for as many reps as I can with each arm. Don't expect too many. <laughs> But, uh, so I'm going to go for as many reps as I can and then w once I've failed and I can't do any, probably the second or the third set, I'll just be working on negatives, probably supported negatives, so either two fingers, whatever it is. And maybe later on, if you're lucky, I'll try some weighted one arms because I know Tyson really wants to see if I can do a one arm at his weight, which would probably require me to hold another five kilos. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Having this mid workout is quite tough. I really don't think I'll be able to do the left arm, but let's see. Yeah, that's, that's extremely tough to achieve mid workout, especially given that I just got my left arm yesterday. But I'll keep working at it, and hopefully you'll see my strength build throughout the month. And then just to polish the set off, do a scapular depression retraction. Because they feel good and they're really important in getting the one arm chin up. So felgas are an exercise that I haven't actually done before and they're a bit more advanced than what I'm used to. Uh, rather than me even attempting to show you how it's done, I'll put in some footage of Lachlan doing one and I'll get him to explain it 
uh, for all of you out there willing to attempt it as well. To get Matthew started on the Felga, um, I'm really just focusing on giving him the understanding of what it's like to be upside down and flipping on top of the rings because that's the fundamental movement of the Felga. So it's not so much strength right now, it's all the technique and that's why we're letting him swing into it which as soon as he starts to understand we'll be getting rid of the swing and making it completely strength based. Now I think the best way to think about it is to imagine that there's a stick or a pole between the rings and you need to shoot your body up and over that pole. If you shoot below it, you're going to end up in the German hang. If you can get over the top, you'll end up in that dip shape. So mainly we're just working on getting Matthew to stay inverted, shooting up and over the rings. As soon as he's got that feeling, he'll come out in a dip. You don't need much of a swing. Pull really hard, come on. Yep. Come on. Yep. Yes. Good man. That felt really easy actually. Yeah. So as you can see in those first few attempts I was really struggling to get up there. But when you realize the technique it makes it so much easier. So it's, it's not so much based on strength. It's more the technique uh, that's required for the Felger. That's going to actually make it a little bit annoying when I want to train at home on my rings. So for planche practice this month, I'm trying to build up to planche negatives where I'll start in the handstand position and slowly lower my body in the planche position. But for the moment, I'm just going to work with the parallel bars, focus on keeping my arms straight and leaning forward as much as I can, starting off in the ball position and slowly advancing from that. Up, up, up. Up. Yep. Planches are one of the goals that I really see being a great struggle to achieve purely because it requires straight arm strength, nothing like I've felt before or experienced before. So the back lever exercise has been bumped down closer to the end of the workout which sounds pretty brutal because it is a very taxing exercise. It puts a great amount of strain on the muscles and it fatigues you quite a lot. In saying that, at least I have more energy for the other exercises. So for back levers this month, I'm gonna focus on holding the, the true back lever uh, hold and I'm gonna try and achieve three reps in each of my sets. At the moment, I can't achieve that, but that's what I'm gonna try and build up to by the end of the month. Up a little bit more than that, you oh, just... Okay. Good. Whew. I can feel a lot of blood up in my head right now. Uh, I'm pretty happy with my uh, back lever holds, although one thing I can tell that I'm not doing perfectly is the turning of those wrists. As you've known through my past few months, I've always had a problem with turning the wrists due to a lack of flexibility. As well as that, turning those wrists really puts more strain on that elbow joint, which I guess I'm sort of worried about, but I think my uh, tendon strength is developing, so I should be able to do it more and more throughout the month. So that's it for month nine guys. As usual, if you have any questions about the workout, post them below and I'll get back to you. Or if you have any comments or suggestions, also please let me know. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon. <laughs>
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You got it, you got it, you got it. 